What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Advice and the day has finally come. I bring you Toxtricity. Now I've been using Toxtricity on Showdown and I like the Pokemon but I'm not completely sold on the team I built yet so I'm going to spend the next few episodes improving it. Okay, my first opponent Kama's got a spicy team. Garganical, Sylveon, Hydreigon, Breloom, big threats. Now, Garganical's the one that worries me the most. If it gets set up, it's so tough to get rid of and Salt Cure is busted. Now, I do have Taunt on both Toxtricity and Umbreon. Could be really helpful for keeping Garganical in check. So I probably want to lead one of them. I like Dragapult in this matchup if I go Terra Fire. I'm just worried about that Sylveon. If they bring Sylveon in the lead, I want to have screens up, so let's go White Fang. But I'm probably going to go Terra Steel with White Fang if they do have Sylveon, so maybe we switch Dragapult out. This is a Toxtricity video. Let's bring Toxtricity in the lead, try to get it going early. I do still like Umbreon for that back caliber and the extra taunt. And, uh, you know, if Garganical goes Terra Ghost, I want to have Dark Moves for it. Iron Head's really good into it if it stays a Rock type, so we'll bring Lady Brienne in the back. I like that. Man, this dude's got a spicy team. I like what I'm looking at. Good luck, have fun to Kama. Let's have a good one here. So a little backstory on Toxtricity while we're waiting. Toxtricity, before I really got into Grimmsnarl, was my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon in my playthrough. I had it pretty early, and uh, I tried to shiny hunt it. I spent like three days going back and forth in front of the daycare center. Unsuccessfully, I didn't have the shiny charm yet, so... This was the first shiny hunt that I tried in Sword and Shield, and I gave up on it after three days. Never got my shiny Toxtricity, but honestly, base Toxtricity is sick, so not too terrible of a thing. Alright, we see Garganical Hydreigon in the lead. That's not bad for us. I do want to taunt Garganical right away, and I think I'll just throw up a Light Screen. Could go Spirit Break into Hydreigon, but usually Hydreigon Terra's turn one, especially in front of Grim Snarl, so... I'm going to make the safe play and go for this light screen. Taunt on Garganical. Make sure it doesn't get any iron defenses going. Okay, we see turn one Terra. On Hydreigon. And it's Steel type, so I'm glad I went for that light screen. Wide guard comes out. That's cool. I love a passive turn from a Garganical. Screens up. And they just go for a Snarl. Now Toxtricity takes that really well because of its ability reducing sound base move damage. So, And their life orb. They do a lot of damage to themselves. We get off the taunt. So, I want to save Grimmsnarl. It's not really doing much here. I'm going to go Umbreon just in case they try to go for the uh, Flash Cannon. And King Gambit's a good switch in for Toxtricity just in case they go Drago or Dark Pulse. I want to keep Toxtricity safe, and it's at minus one right now, so it's not really doing any damage. Let's try to reposition here. And since they use their Terra on Hydreigon, we know that we're safe to click Iron Head into Garganical. They do go for the Draco. We take that really well. A little more Life Orb chip. And Salt Cure goes into King Gambit, so they do double up. We're going to start taking a quarter of our health chip because we're Steel type, so we need to get rid of this Garganical as quickly as possible. Only got two turns left with King Gambit at most. They don't have any Iron Head switching, so they're taunted. They can't protect. I'm just going to double up with Foul Play, I think. If I had Amoongus in the back, I could go Skill Swap Spore, put it to sleep. But I don't, so we'll just try to stick as much damage as we can on it while it's still here. And I'm not too worried about that Hydreigon because it's minus two. Heat Wave? But we dodge with King Gambit. Yo, Terra Steel Hydreigon with Heat Wave. That's a tech. They've done a lot of damage to themselves with Life Orb. We get off the Foul Play. A little chip. And Iron Head. Does a lot, but not as much as I would have liked. 
They flinch though, so that's a lucky turn for us. Heat wave dodge into flinch. But uh, I mean, you take it when you can, right? So after this salt cure chip, even minus two heat wave should take us out with that life orb. Uh, I'm gonna go for another foul play into Garganical, and I'm gonna try to sucker punch it. Hydreigon's gonna outspeed anyways. We do get the sucker punch off. It doesn't pick up. Heat wave takes out Gambit. Thank you, Lady Brienne. And foul play will finish off Garganical. So that's cool. They didn't switch it out. Hydreigon minus two has done a lot of damage to itself with Life Orb. So I like the position we're sitting. We did trade King Gambit for Garganical, but that's really what we brought it for anyway. So I'll take that. I think I'm going to bring Grimmsnarl. Uh, Thunder Wave pressure could be good here. I can get a Reflect up if they bring something physically offensive. Try to set up for the Toxtricity endgame. Okay, Breloom. So, Breloom could fake out Grimmsnarl. I'm going to go for the Taunt. I like that. And, uh... In case they don't fake out, I'm going to T-Wave it so that I'm faster with Umbreon. Okay, they swap out Hydreigon. Reset those drops. Good play. And they got Baxcalibur in the back. I don't mind that. We do see the Thunder Wave Alley-Oop. And Umbreon with the Taunt off the backboard. So they don't get to go for the Spore. Let's go. Good play. Okay, I want to start getting damage into Bax Caliber because it resists Overdrive. So we'll go Foul Play into it. And I'll just Spirit Break Breloom. Okay, looks like they went for the Mock Punch. Brick Break on Umbreon does good damage, but we take it well. And Foul Play is huge damage into Baxcalibur. And they hang on with Sash on Breloom, so we'll take that. So... There's no point in setting up a Reflect yet until Baxcalibur is gone. I'm going to go for a Snarl here, try to get rid of Breloom. And then I'll Spirit Break Baxcalibur. They go for the Mock Punch. It does a ton of damage. And then Brick Break finishes off Umbreon. That's cool, though. Because we'll get a Spirit Break here and take out Baxcalibur. And then it's Hydreigon and Breloom. Versus Toxtricity at almost full health with the support of Grim Snarl. I like where we're sitting. Alright, so I'm gonna go Overdrive and then uh, I'll Thunder Wave Hydreigon just to make sure that Toxtricity is faster than it. Dang, I probably should have gone Terra now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if this Overdrive will pick up, but good to see, I guess. Thunder Wave connects. Grimmsnarl eats the Mock Punch. And Overdrive doesn't pick up. It would have with Terra, so could have ended this game a little quicker, but uh. Toxtricity gets to bust another overdrive. Get our throat spray off. And flash cannon. Into the Grim Snarl takes it out, but that's cool because Hydreigon doesn't have any priority, so the next overdrive will pick up. Yo, let's get a like on the video if you enjoy seeing Toxtricity put in that work. I'm gonna go Terra for the thumbnail. And we'll just get this last overdrive off. Oh, 
Okay, bright idea, Toxtricity. And single target overdrive does pick up. So Toxtricity came in and did what he needed to do. Kept Garganical in check with the taunt. Got some big overdrives off. Little end game pop off. Last man standing. Well played. GG to my opponent. Okay, game two. We got Billy with a sick team. They got their own Toxtricity, but the thing that scares me the most is that Anger Point Frost Last Tauros combo. So I'm going to go redirection with Amoongus. Dragapult's good because it's faster than everything they got. I like Grimmsnarl in this matchup. And, uh, yep, Toxtricity's got to come, right? King Gambit's pretty decent here, but that Tauros, I don't know how I like it into Tauros, so we'll go Toxtricity. I mean, if they're going to bring Toxtricity, I'm definitely not leaving mine behind. Let's see who wears the drip better. Yeah, if they, if they lead that Frostlass and Tauros, they could sweep through my team with the Anger Point, so I just want to make sure they can't proc that Anger Point. I got Terra Water on Amoongus, so I can go Terra turn one and take the Frost Breath pretty well. And, uh, you know, we can just apply that Rage Powder pressure to make sure that they don't do what they want to do. Okay, Sarah Ledge on the trainer card. Respect it. And Billy's got Frostlass and Tauros in the lead, so. We got what we need to make sure they don't get that plus six with the Frost Breath critical hit into Anger Point. I'm gonna just play it safe here and go Terra, Water, Rage Powder. And uh, Dragapult needs the Dragon Dance to do damage. My Dragapult is adamant, but it just always feels like it's a little underwhelming without the Dragon Dance, so. I'd like to get that set up as quickly as possible. Terra Water Moon is really good into Ice moves and Fire type moves. Neutral to Flying and Psychic, so. Great Terra choice for a Moon Dragapult's charging up. Frost Breath guaranteed critical hit. And we see an earthquake. So that's why they had the air balloon. That makes sense. So I'm going to go for Rage Powder again. No reason to risk letting them get up the anger point. And I'll just go Dragon Dart to try to break that air balloon. Okay, they're going Terra. And Terra Ground. It's going to do a lot of damage, but Amoongus should survive. They go for Helping Hand, so good play there. I could have gone Spore, but it just really isn't worth risking the Anger Point getting set up. Decent chip into Tauros with the plus one Dragon Dart. And Frostlass gets the Cursed Body, but I think Earthquake takes us out anyways with the Helping Hand. Okay, Amoongus survives. Dragapult and Frostlass do not. So this Tauros doesn't have the Anger Point set up, but Ground-type moves are strong into my team. I can't bring Toxtricity out because they're faster. And I can't T-Wave them because they're ground type. So this is a tough situation. We see Gengar. So if they go Sludge Bomb Earthquake, I'm pretty screwed with Grimmsnarl. But 
I'm gonna protect Amoongus just so I can. This is tough. But you know what? They're not gonna earthquake because they have Gengar next to them. So if they do earthquake, they'll protect Gengar. It's not worth risking Toxtricity. I'm just gonna go for protect and try to spirit break the Tauros. This is a tough situation. Okay, no protect from Gengar. Snarl. You know what? I think that's the Zoroark. I don't think that Gengar gets Snarl, so. That's cool. Life Orb. Yeah, it's probably Zoroark. They go for the Flame Charge. Doesn't do much damage. They do get a Speed Boost, though. But that means that they definitely won't go for Earthquake unless they have Protect on Zoroark. I'm just going to go for Rage Powder with Amoongus, try to keep Grimmsnarl safe, and then go for another Spirit Break into Tauros. Okay, close combat. We're going to get a little Rocky Helmet chip that should put it in range of Spirit Break. Yeah, especially after the defense drop. So, Toxtricity is really strong, but it can't hit ground types with Overdrive, and Sludge Bomb doesn't do very much into ground types either, so... That's definitely something I need to address with this team, is something that deals with ground types a little bit better. You know, because I can't T-Wave them either to get speed control. Um... Can't T-Wave Dark types, Tauros goes down, uh, because of the Prankster interaction not working on Dark types, so Spirit Break on Grimmsnarl does help with that, but uh, yeah, I think when I when I reevaluate this team, I definitely want to have something that's a little bit better into ground type Pokemon. We see the real Gengar, Toxtricity comes out. I'll just go for the overdrive here, and I'm going to throw a T-Wave into Gengar to make sure that Toxtricity outspeeds it. And hopefully after Life Orb Chip, even if they Snarl Toxtricity, we still pick up with overdrive. We'll see. Double Gengar is pretty funny. Thunder Wave connects with Gengar, so we are going to be faster. That's nice. And they go for the Shadow Ball into Grimmsnarl. They get a Spadef drop, but that's cool. Overdrive comes out, picks up Zorark. Gengar's got a little bit of health left. And we're going to get our Throat Spray. They get the Cursed Body, but that's fine because of Throat Spray, Sludge Bomb should pick up this Gengar. And they go for a Shadow Ball, so... Their team's pretty fast and didn't really have anything for Trick Room. I'm assuming this is like Trick Room in Prison, Icy Wind, Shadow Ball, Gengar, so... We'll just go Spirit Break and Sludge Bomb into it. And boom, Sludge Bomb picks up Gengar. So Toxtricity coming out with another victory. This time Grimmsnarl survives. A little double pop-off. GG to my opponent. That was a cool team, cool trainer card, good game. Okay, so our last opponent of the episode has Murkrow, Annihilate, Hydreigon, Goldango. Pretty standard team. I like Grimmsnarl against Tailwind teams for the screens. And then Brienne of Tarth. Pretty good here if they lead Goldango. Unfortunately, I don't really like Toxtricity in this matchup. I'm going to go Dragapult just for their Dragonite. And it can be pretty good in the end game if I can get some Dragon Dances up. So we'll go for that. And then Umbreon's great here, actually. Umbreon's good into Goldango, Hydreigon, Murkrow, Dragonite. One thing I do need to address with this team, though, I'm noticing is the Annihilate counter. So that, along with something for ground types, is what I'm looking for in the next episode. I just don't have anything that's super strong into Annihilate, and Annihilate's one of the best Pokemon in the game. Can't argue it. You know, it's just so tough to get rid of in the end game. So let's see if they bring it here. See if we can handle it.
Okay, Dragonite Annihilate in the lead, so Brienne of Tarth is in a tricky spot. I want to go Thunder Wave, I think, into Annihilate just to pester it. I could go Reflect, but it's not going to really help that much here. Um, and Protect doesn't help either, because then I'm still in a bad spot next turn. So I'll switch in the Dragapult, try to reposition offensively, and save Brienne for the potential Gold Dangle in the back. Both these Pokemon could have fighting type moves, and I can't afford to lose Gambit. So we see Thunder Wave. No Lumberry, that's nice. And we take the low kick with Dragapult, that's perfect. Final Gambit. That's the other thing about Annihilate that's just so tough. It's almost impossible to tell whether it's the final gambit or the bulk up set. I mean, usually on Trick Room teams, you know it's final gambit, but I did not see that coming. We do trade Grimmsnarl for Annihilate, which I don't hate, but it would have been nice to get up a screen instead of wasting that T-Wave. But on the bright side, we don't have to deal with bulk up Annihilate endgame, so I love that. They send out Murkrow, we got Umbreon, good boy. I'm going to go for Foul Play into Dragonite, and uh, yeah, I need to keep King Gambit safe. I'm going to go for Terra Fire Dragon Darts. I just don't want to take a Foul Play with Murkrow or a Dragon move from Dragonite if they're not locked into Fighting type move. I think Terra Fire is really good for Dragapult just to be able to sit in front of Fairy types. Ice type moves as well, just getting rid of that ghost typing and fire is just great coverage. Alright, Dragonite goes Terra Normal. They set up Tailwind and they go for the low kick and we eat it. No problem. That bulk on Umbreon's great. A little bit of chip with dragon darts. Foul play picks up with the crit. That crit definitely mattered, but low kick wasn't doing enough to Umbreon for me to feel like that was too awful for the opponent, so. We'll take that. And now it's a 2v3. Umbreon super healthy. Let's see what they have in the back. Okay, they got Hydreigon, so I want to Snarl. The only thing is they might have Haze, so maybe it's worth it to Taunt first. I'm just going to Snarl, and that'll force them to Haze if anything. I like that, and I'll just go for a Dragon Darts. Oh, you know what? They have Tailwind up, so they're faster. Dark Pulse does good damage. They double up with foul play, so the protect was better there, but that's fine. They can't use Terra anymore, they already used it with Dragonite, so if they are Terra Fire Hydreigon, they at least won't have stab on their fire coverage into Lady Brienne. So we get the snarl off, drop their special attack. That forces the haze if they have it, and I'm just gonna go King Gambit. Let Lady Brienne of Tarth come in and try to do some big things in this battle. So it may be worth it to taunt now. Just so they can't continuously haze. But you know what? I just want to get damage off. I'm going to go for the foul play into Hydreigon. And Iron Head it as well. They do go for the haze. Do they have fire move? They do have fire move. We take it decently. Tiny bit of foul play chip. Iron Head doesn't quite pick up. Okay, so I'm going to foul play and I want to sucker punch here. I can take at least one foul play from Murkrow. They go for the protect, but that's fine. 
Sucker Punch fails, but Hydreigon's not attacking, so I'd say that's a win for us. We do eat the foul play. A little bit of chip of our own. So as soon as this Hydreigon goes down, Umbreon wins the endgame because of leftovers. Their Tailwind's gone. I'm going to go for a foul play into Hydreigon and just protect Gambit. They go for the double protect, but they don't get it. We see our own defensive play. And they foul play into my protect. And Umbreon is going to pick up another KO for the episode. Yo, both Toxtricity and Umbreon putting in major work. Umbreon's one of those Pokemon that you're looking at it in the builder and it's like, dang, this moveset doesn't look good. I don't know if I like this Pokemon, but it's just so bulky and it just sits on the field and just provides a lot of support. And foul play is a great move, so I do, I'm a big fan of Umbreon. Definitely my favorite evolution too, design-wise. Just gonna sucker punch. I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna taunt just to make sure I can get sucker punches off if they don't attack here. And then I'll sucker punch. This game's over though. Good chip. Yeah, Murkrow can't beat Umbreon now. So yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the team. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch Dragapult out. I just I don't really like the damage and having to rely on Dragon Dance. So I think I'll take that back to the drawing board, try to figure out a Pokemon that better suits this team. And uh, you'll see my decision in the next episode. Really appreciate y'all watching, staying if you're still here. And if you're new to the channel, maybe consider uh, subscribing. Got a lot of content coming out. I really like making my own teams, not using meta Pokemon. You know, here and there meta Pokemon, but I like to feature Pokemon that you wouldn't expect to see. And, uh, you know, try to make really competitive, viable teams with them, so... A lot of exclusive content on this channel, and I uh, hope y'all stick around. Show some support, like, subscribe, and uh, if there's anything you want to see, any recommendations or requests or suggestions, feel free to leave that in the comment section. I will actively check those out and respond. Love to give advice and help out. I know there's a lot of new Pokemon trainers with the new game coming out, so I'm always happy to help. Feel free to you know ask any questions you can think of, and I'll do my best to give you the best answer I can. Yep. Thank y'all for watching. We're going to end it there. Hope the new year is going well. Until next time. Peace.